Hello, welcome back. In this video, uh, we are going to go over uh, an exercise where we will try to come up with uh, the limit of a composite function. And in this case, we're talking about composing g by f eventually. And g is a polynomial and f is also a polynomial. At this point, I want to remind you that limit property uh, for composite functions, uh, it, it essentially says that if we have two functions, uh, you can talk about the, uh, the limit of uh, a composite function. Uh, I say limit of a composite function because you can compose two functions in two different ways. Uh, if f and g are given to you, one could be f composed by g and the other one could be g composed by f. So in this particular case, uh, we're talking about uh, composing f by g. And, and here, uh, we, are looking, we, we are looking at the limit value of the composite, fu composite function at x equals c. You can actually pass the limit inside f in the argument. So you can write this as, as f of the limit of uh, g of x as x approaches c. And in fact, if that limit is well defined, if it is like capital L, then that inside of this, this parentheses, these parentheses, which is the argument of f, would be just L, and, and the, the result is going to be f of L. And hopefully f of L exists, and it's in fact a limit of f at x equals L. So let's try to use this idea of passing the limit inside the argument, and then let's see if we can get something out of that. Uh, first off, uh, we're trying to find the limit of f at x equals one. Well, f is a polynomial, and we can find the limit by using uh, the direct substitution uh, that follows from limit properties of uh, polynomials. Um, so for that reason, um, limit of f at x equals one would be 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4. So in part B we are checking the limit of uh, g of x which is uh, x cubed and, and as I said before x cubed is another polynomial you can use direct substitution so it's going to be 4 cubed that is 64. Okay. So for that reason limit of g composed by f is equal to, I can pass the limit inside, g of the limit of f at x equals 1. And, and we got this from part a, so this is g of 4. Okay, And in fact, in part B, we just show that g of 4 is the limit value. So this was the limit of g at 4, and that was 64. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.